Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we've got Nintendo being Nintendo. In the latest battle against emulation, Nintendo may have just done some friendly fire. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off here, today was a very interesting day for Nintendo Switch emulation. If you're worried about the future of Nintendo Switch emulation, I'll start out by saying you really don't have much to worry about. At least I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I highly doubt it. This was the big news. Denuvo by Ardito launches Nintendo Switch emulator protection solution. And I would argue this actually hurts Nintendo more than helps it. So here is the official statement from Ardito, and I'll leave it in the description below in the event that you want to check it out. It says, Denuvo by Ardito launches the industry's first Nintendo Switch emulator protection. The innovative solution solves a long-lasting issue of emulating pirate Nintendo Switch games on PC. No mention of Android, Skyline you're safe. Addressing the widespread piracy on multi-platform releases. Now I'm not going through this entire announcement because there is a ton of fluff here, including a secondary announcement not in relation to Nintendo that I don't think was supposed to be released yet. There are two paragraphs I do want to touch on. It says, by preventing piracy on the Switch while blocking unauthorized emulations on PC, studios are able to increase the revenue during the game launch window, which is the most important period in regard to monetization. The Nintendo Switch emulator protection will ensure that anyone wishing to play the game has to buy a legitimate copy. And then they go on to say the technology integrates seamlessly into the build tool chain with no impact on the gaming experience. I would completely disagree with this statement. There is an impact, and it's been proven. I mean, all you have to do is search Denuvo and benchmarks on YouTube, and there's a ton of videos on this subject. Denuvo has hurt loading times as well as frames per second. Now, this might not sound like a big deal to some, but on systems that struggle with performance, like the Nintendo Switch, adding in some loading times or dropping some frames per second, like 14 frames a second, might be a little bit noticeable. And on top of harming loading times and frame rates, Denuvo has also been known for raising CPU and GPU temperatures. On systems like the Switch, that might also cause some throttling. And to further drive that point home, there have been developers to completely drop Denuvo altogether to help out performance. Here's an article from Ars Technica, I'll drop a link to it in the description below. It says, fans ask a PC game to drop Denuvo, and Dev agrees, blames performance impact. Humankind's de novo woes were not something we can fix before release, says the developer. So Ryujinx, a very well-known Switch emulator on PC, says on Twitter here, regarding your Dito's de novo announcement, we will continue developing an emulation platform for Switch game preservation and enhancement, upon which consumers may enjoy their games both now and beyond the life cycle of the console itself. So this really isn't impacting them per se. I would argue that the real losers of this announcement are Nintendo and Nintendo Switch gamers. I mean, this is probably going to impact performance of Nintendo Switch games moving forward on the actual console. On the emulators, probably not so much. At the end of the day here, I would argue that this is a very weird decision by Nintendo. A very Nintendo type of decision, I guess. And I would also argue that this might actually push people towards emulation if this hurts performance of games on the Switch. Well, you might want to play the games off the Switch somewhere else where they'll perform better. Who knows? Anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about this announcement in the comments below. It's a weird one. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.